from the start. We uh, we were on the front foot and uh, we created chances. And Ricci got through. I'm not sure whether it was a penalty or not. Uh, Fletch just overran ran one um, just before half time. And then I thought second half we we took the game to them. And um, uh, Fletch got his goal, a, a well deserved goal. He was a real handful all afternoon. And I think the combination play with uh, from Adam Reach and Barry Bannon to get Fletch turned. Um, was uh, the start of a terrific move and finished off nicely by uh, by Fletch. Have you had a chance to look back at those penalties? I haven't seen it back from where I was. I thought Adam got across him and it looked a penalty from from where I was, but the referee's a little bit closer than I am. Stephen Fletcher, how good was he today? He was excellent, you know, and I, I spoke to him yesterday and you said, you know, it's a kind of third game in the week, if you like, and uh, how do you feel? He said, I feel great. Um, uh, no knocks, he, he, no tightness, in, and that's how he performed. He looked fresh, he looked lively, he won almost every header and uh, deserved his goal. When he plays like that, is he unplayable? Yeah, I, I think if you ask their two centre-backs, then that's probably one of the hardest games they will have had this season. And the biggest single factor in all of that is that when the ball was going up to Fletch, they were dropping off him and I think that's a mark of respect because when they did get tight, he invariably either won the header or played round them. You took him off with uh, 10 minutes to go. Does it look like he was feeling him off? Is he OK or how's he doing? Yeah, I think he got a block at the edge of the box and he was sore and on the instep. But he recovered and he felt OK, but I just thought he had had a lot of football this week. And um, Big Atty went on and, and was terrific, a real handful, worked hard. As was Lucas. What, what did you think was the major difference in the second half? The chances you, I, you know, I said to them at half time, I think uh, the game is there to be won. I think, again, if we can lift our game a little bit more in terms of a little bit more um, passing and movement. Uh, and I thought we did that. And we had a higher press, um, which was evident by the fact that they never really got in and around our goal, Mal, to have a shot at goal. Um, so credit to to the whole team. Um, I'm really, really pleased with the performance. They're good lads. I think the the, the ability to to work the defenders and put them under pressure is something that we asked of them coming off the bench, and they maintain that. And then obviously on the turnover, Lucas can be anything. You know, he he can skip by people, he can play people in, and uh, they both had chances. And unfortunately for us, they went through to the goalkeeper. Yeah, absolutely. He's you know he needs to get a good week's training next week. He trained last week, and uh, we thought he was fit enough to come off the bench. And I'm sure he'll be a, a touch closer to the first team, um, you know, uh, regular um, once we get another week under his belt. And with Sam Winnell on the bench, and then Fernando's come back next week, you've got plenty of options there, haven't you? Absolutely, and it, it's very much competition for places at the top end of the pitch, which is which is always a good thing, you know. Um, so, yeah, uh, competition for places, and um, I think that keeps everybody on their toes. And a clean sheet, how delighted are you to kept in the world? Really pleased. I think Kieran didn't touch the ball that much, which, obviously, you have to give credit to the, the team and the back four. But equally, his voice and his experience mm -hmm. makes good decisions. He makes good decisions for defenders in front. Um, so he's, he's vocal, he's experienced, and he keeps the ball away from him. Um, He's pleased with the clean sheet. The team are pleased with the clean sheet. If I have a criticism, then I'd like to have seen the second goal going. Um, but we'd take the three points.